Good morning, good morning, everyone. Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Elite Total Body Care and Private Label Hair Care Company. So today we are doing an alopecia extension service on my client. Um, she came all the way from the north, I'll just say the north, somewhere in the Great, the great Lakes area um, to get her hair done. So we are gonna be doing a haircut. Um, we're also gonna be doing a relaxer and then we'll be doing a style um, that she brought uh, two different styles. They're kind of, one was a pixie and the other one was a little bit longer. So we decided to go with the one that's a little bit longer. So how we're gonna start this is I'm gonna go ahead and do my preliminary cut in the back here because we're gonna lay it down, make it nice and straight by relaxing it. Um, same thing on the sides. I pin the sides for right now because um, I want to make sure that I leave over that for me, that I leave enough hair for coverage going towards her face and also um, around her ear. So I'm not going to get too scissor happy with the cut um, at the beginning. This is just so that I can relax her hair um, and then we will go through and do the remaining cut after her hair is nice and straight. And then same thing on the sides. Um, that's gonna be super long. So for her sides, I'm gonna just take a little bit off as well. Morning. Morning. I'm gonna take a little bit off her sides as well. And then we're gonna apply her relaxer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a different mask. Just because your straps are going to get soaked. Alright. Alright. And you're just going to relax your face. Look up. Can you breathe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Good? All right, so I changed her mask because the mask with the straps kind of gets in the way of relaxing, number one. And then number two, I can't really mold her and shampoo her properly with her mask um, straps right behind her ear. And I also say that with when you're wearing masks in the salon, which it's mask optional for us here. So there's no... Um, right or wrong with the mask but when you're getting a relaxer you guys or you're getting any form of chemical service even if it's a color you don't want to have the mask strings in the way because guess what if i'm applying relaxer and that relaxer might not touch the mask strings right now when i go to shampoo you and the mask is on remember relaxer is something that anything it touches it now has to be normalized so if those straps are on and we don't go and wash that mask strap. And then you go and you just keep that mask strap on. You wear it throughout the service. You go home. You do whatever. The next day you put it back on. It's like you're continuously putting relaxer back on your skin. Or any form of chemical service that you're doing. So I like to always change my client's mask out whenever necessary. And use a strapless mask. And it's also disposable. But that's just something I want you guys to think about when you're getting your chemical services. Because it's super important. For number one, the safety of yourself and your skin. But number two, you want to make sure that your hair is thoroughly shampooed whenever you have that chemical service in there or chemical processing going on. All right, so I'm applying the relaxer to her back and occipital bone first. And then um, we're going to let that process. Oh, geez, everybody want to come early or something? Is it for me? No? Is that for me? Oh, well, she can eat. Yeah, let her come on in. I have three people this morning. I'm going to leave and come back. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, we're going to just make sure that it processes. Now, also, uh, a thing that I want you guys to note with fine textured hair, while we want it to be bone straight, fine textured hair typically likes to go nice and curly, even though it's fully relaxed. So, it'll go curly. It will lay down, but it will still be curly all at the same time. So that kind of goes with it. Good morning. Oh, I didn't know you were coming this morning. I didn't either. You didn't tell me you were coming? Yeah, I wasn't because I remember. Okay, 
want if you want to. Yeah, might as well. But you know, I got a split day. I know. Okay. Yeah. Um. She has tapings in her hair. Are they still like in, in, in? Yeah. Or are they sliding? They're in. Okay. I'm going to remove her tapings for sure. Okay. And then wash them. I didn't see you live. I kept looking. That's why I didn't think you were here. I'm under it. I just got under it. Are you going to color it up? I don't think so. Okay. That's the thing about the hair. I can't really tell if it matches what I already have. Um, number two, it will kind of match. It's more like a, I'm not going to say, it. well, it depends on the, the brand too. Because each brand's number two. Mm -hmm. Some are dark, mm -hmm. some are super brown. Mm -hmm. um, but with what we're doing, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm not worried. It'll blend really well. All right, so I'm not gonna relax any of the hair right here in the crown or in the front. It's not really necessary. So I'm gonna take my comb and just comb her hair straight, just so that I can make sure that my foundation is somewhat straight, even though I know she's gonna be kind of curly. Some, some people end up going curly. I can't really say for everyone, but from experience, I've seen it get very like a loose wave curl and then when you mold your hair it just goes straight so and then while i'm processing her relaxer or, or starting the process of her relaxer processing i am also not allowing the comb teeth to touch her scalp at any point that's super important you don't want to add any more aggravation and you don't want to run the risk of the hair not being straight enough for you to create that illusion of a style for your clients. So that's super important. client's tape in so she's going to be getting a silk press and a deep cleanse so i'm going to start the process by removing her tape ins first um some clients i'm able to just get them shampooed and the tape ins will just kind of slide out others they have to be physically removed which the removal is really easy it doesn't really take much how did your tape ins do did you like them yeah i enjoyed them but Got bored that fast. <laughs> yep. She said she got bored, y'all. All right, so to remove tapings, you use a little bit of alcohol. Which I thought I had more, but I don't. Um, and when I say alcohol, all you're doing is just spraying the tape. And that's really it. 
just spray in the tape with the alcohol. It binds the adhesive and then you just peel it open. Things were in there, in there, honey. Mm -hmm. You want to keep them or And as you take them out, you just kind of comb out any adhesive. She is going to have some shedding because the tapings have been in for a while. So the areas where her tapings were, those could not shed. So they still have to get the opportunity to shed. And she's actually natural, so she had a whole a silk press the entire time that she had these tapings in. Oh, can I get? Do me a favor. You give me the soothing balance, the free treatment, the bottle. Yep, the big one. Yes. Mhm. So I'll just put that on as I go. See these squeaky sneakers. You feeling okay?
Um, normally my first appointment is at nine, but today I have somewhere to be, so I took my appointments early. I kind of had to move some clients around, split my day up, so that's why I'm here early. But normally, my start time is 9 a.m. Um, Natural Weaver said, good morning. My sister will be cutting her locks for the first of the year. She will have a short fro. She does have thinning. Which product would you suggest? Thank you. She'll have a short fro, um, so I'm going to assume that she's going to be natural or stay natural. Um, I start with the hair repair. Um, I probably also do a protein treatment because I know she's going to have a lot of shedding from cutting her locks. Um, and she's basically going to put her hair through a lot of, of trauma, getting those locks combed out, even if they're being cut down. So I definitely say hair repair and then the Repair RX. Um, one and two just so you guys know we restocked the site last night um, I know I said Friday, but we went ahead and restocked it last night. Also, if you are in Canada um, Elite Hair Care Canada is having a sale where everything is 35% off So if you're in Canada, I highly recommend of course shopping with our Canada distributor It's gonna save you a ton of money in shipping taxes and duties. So Do that do that and do that. Where did I put my comb? Um, so yeah, we restocked all the, um, the products last night on both sites. So you guys have access to all of the products now. We've even restocked the B7, which I know a lot of you have been asking about. So B7 is now restocked as well. There's also a B7 bundle kit for those of you that have been wanting the B7 and couldn't get it. So everything is now back in stock. The only thing that we're out of stock temporarily which will be probably until tomorrow is the empress collection I know everybody's wondering like, oh, she's spraying alcohol. What does the alcohol do to all the alcohol damage the hair? No, the alcohol actually binds the adhesive so that it slides right off of the hair. And then I also like to hold on to the root before I remove that last strip because I know that she's gonna have some shedding. So it just makes the removal really easy. Hi, Miss Ed. Yes, can alopecia hair grow? Elena asks. What's the question? Can alopecia hair grow? Can alopecia hair grow? So there's no such thing as alopecia hair. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, if you have alopecia, is it reversible? Not all cases are. It just depends on how extensive it is. It also depends on the type. Um, 
the one that is actually the easiest to reverse is traction alopecia because traction alopecia is traction alopecia is Traction alopecia is, it really comes from trauma or induced trauma, something that you did or something that you had in your hair. So not saying that it's never able to come back, but traction alopecia is one of the only forms of alopecia that they consider to be reversible. If you have success where you have actually seen um, your hair growing back in areas where you had the issue before, um, then amazing. If not, more than likely, it's just too far gone. It's too extensive. Alopecia is also something where if you don't catch it right away and work on it right away when it first starts, it's kind of like you're just allowing the problem to get worse and then it becomes not, not reversible at all. So that's kind of the best answer. So what I'm doing is any piece that I see is just not moving fast enough or it's not moving at all, I'm gonna open it up and then spray a little bit more alcohol in there. The alcohol really is what makes the job simple. Now they do have actual um, tools that you can use to like inject the alcohol in between the tapings and your hair. I just didn't get one, which I need to, but I didn't get one, so I'm doing it the old school way. I actually thought I did buy that actual tool. I just don't know what I did with it. her and cut her and all that stuff. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and add some Soothe and Balance on this side. So this is the Soothe and Balance pre-treatment. Um, we use this to do our deep cleanse. This is also for clients who have a lot of scalp issues, scalp buildup. Um, if you get a lot of braids, that kind of thing, this would be ideal. 
Go back on this side now. Get this side out. Should be used for traction alopecia with fine hair texture. For traction alopecia, um, I'd say our new edge repair and restore. Um, you can use that for your hairline. Um, you can also, we have a bundle kit that's called Regrow My Edges or Regrow My Hairline that comes with everything that you need um, for a situation like traction alopecia. Um, outside of that, you can use our B7 collection, which is a biotin infused volumizing system, which is also great for fine textured hair. So you can alternate between the two. You have a couple of different options, but those two are the main ones. So the Repair My Edge kit or the B7 volumizing kit, but I'd still say to get the edge repair and restoration cream with it. Deborah, you got to give me a little more detail, huh? I know you're trying to be quick with your, your fingers, but you're a little too quick. It doesn't really tell me anything. Um, I guess you answered Lena about something because she said, I live too far to come to you. Can I send a picture to see or can you tell by looking at it? Um, Lena, you, you can book what we call a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Um, it's done via Zoom, and then I'd be able to assist from there. Laura asks, um, she said, good morning, will hair grow back from the lost follicles, especially in the nape area? Will hair grow back from what? From the lost follicles. Uh, it depends. I can't really tell you that without looking at it. All right, so we're almost done removing her tape ins. Could have you could have scheduled a midterm today. Oh, could have done one each day. Oh, yeah. oh, they don't have it that way. She looks so bored. <laughs> She'll be fine. You want to go to the warehouse and help cat? Not <laughs> exactly. Oh, so Anytime, anything it. that has to do with work, their response is no, it's okay. <laughs> but she rather be here than the warehouse, huh? So it must be more way more work there. Could go to Madrazo. Would you prefer that? I'm sure you would. Why was Ms. Robinson? What did she get to do there? That's, um, she technically was Christian's nanny, but she's just like a part of our family. So she's no longer a nanny. She's just a part of our family. Oh, that's one of the trash, right? Mm -hmm. Just wait, wait a second, because I still have a couple pieces to take out. Or leave it? Yeah, just wait a second. And then my client coming in, um, I know she's getting a silk press, but let me look to see what else she got. So when we have her sit over here for now? Yes, she can sit over here for now. But you're going to wash her first. She's getting a silk press. Sorry, I was talking to Tiana. You don't wash Tiana. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Come on in. Come on in. After, well, I'm going to hit the restaurant. After dealing with two hours on I-4. Oh, oh, you so, love I-4, don't oh, you? Oh, Lord. Have mercy. <laughs> oh, right back. <laughs> oh, I was doing something. Oh, you were saying I was going to wash four. her jars. Mm-hmm. You said you were on I-4, too? I'm kind of yes. Yeah. I'm like, why is this still on this? If you don't get on the express all, lane, I didn't get on that That's one. the best part. Yeah. Because that yeah, part, that's... everybody's so respectful. Yeah. <laughs> everybody yeah, just moves. On there. Yep. Do they understand that the left lane is supposed to be the fastest no, lane? No, <laughs> not at all. No one understands that here. That the left lane is the fast lane. And then they get mad when you bear down on them. Like, even if you put your blinkers on or your, your bright lights on because that's what you're supposed right. to do to signal them, like, hey, could you move over? They right. get an attitude and then drive slower. Yeah. I think it's very odd. I go through the same thing at home. It's like the slow lane became the fast lane. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have one more tape in to remove. Her scalp should probably be feeling super cool. Yes, when you schedule your when you schedule your one-on-one consult, it actually gives you the link for your Zoom your Zoom meeting at that time. So then on the day of the actual consult, all you do is click the link in your email confirmation and that's it. But if you don't really understand Zoom 100%, it gives you a lot of time where you can actually go YouTube it, you can ask a friend. It's really simple, but if you need to, you can YouTube how to get on there. It's really, really easy, though. Know? I don't think it would be. She should probably should go ahead and download it now, but if she knows she's going to do the consultation. Yeah. All right, ma'am. Good? Is everybody good today? Yes, ma'am. How are you? Oh, I'm good now. <laughs> Not even on the iPhone. <laughs> My gracious. It was an accident, and... Um... Hey, Donna, just put that on the ground. Okay. But there's always an extra line. Yes, ma'am. Crazy. Sorry. Crazy. I have the allergy. I'm going to have you sit here, actually. Sit right here. Okay. Awesome. You have a neck allergy. I yeah, do. Yeah, it's, it's one split. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's one specific line that I can use mm-hmm. for her. You cannot sit there. Sit between the two clients. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, honey. Go over there for me. Let me just move her. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, it's just a whole collision. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll be fine. We'll come around this way and then we'll see right there. Okay. All right. She's getting still first. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, hair repair, shampoo, hair repair, conditioner. Put this back here, Donna. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut my client, get her molded so she can go under the dryer and get that part of the process done. So what we're going to do is start by creating our cut. Um, This part is kind of very, it's not even kind of, it is super important because if your cut is wrong and you try to do a weaving service of any type, you're going to struggle. So what I'm going to do is I like to do what we call a V shape. 
in the back of the client's head. I use this V as a way to kind of blend their hair with the um, extensions rather than doing a straight line. If you do a straight line, now you're creating, you're creating like a, a hard line between her hair and the extensions. So a V gives the illusion that everything just kind of blends together. Um, everything just kind of melts together and it looks more like her hair. Even though it's extensions, of course, but you still want it to look as natural as possible. When I do these styles, that's really my goal. I try not to make it look like an actual weave. Thank you, Jackie. No, she was saying that was her first time seeing a super chat on YouTube. On your live. I see them here and there, not much. I don't really talk about them. Like you, a super chat is basically like it highlights you as a person chatting and it's like a donation to the channel. Chin down from the mother. Oh, thank you, Corvetta. All right, you guys, go ahead with the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and mold her down. So I'm going to use some Elite Silk Wrap Foam to mold her sides and her back.
So I'm using the end papers rather than the um, wrap strips. Because her hair is so fine, the wrap strips are gonna kinda, I feel like they will mess with the mold. So this is an easier way. Not everyone can use the end papers though. It's usually for clients who have been like freshly relaxed. So my question to her was, does she perspire a lot? The reason why I asked that is because that is going to also be a determining factor of what method I use for her crown area, meaning like the protection, that kind of thing. So that's an important question to ask whenever you are doing these kinds of services because if your client perspires a lot, most of what you use is water soluble. So sweat is also one of those things that can kind of diminish the life of this service. So I have a couple of different ways that I'm able to do it. Now they're all not fail proof, but some are better than others. It just kind of depends. So asking those questions during your, your service is vital. Like a lot of stylists are like afraid to ask questions and I never understood that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a end paper right in the front but i'm not going to cover the entire head with the end papers because she scarred in the remainder of the areas i'm not going to add end papers there but i'm still going to put some protectant over those areas Coconut water is okay for you, right? Coconut water is okay for you. Like, 
Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, so you're going to this one? cord covers they I had these before not my favorite but they kind of helped me with the tangling so I'm gonna start putting them on I should make my child put them on who's so tired all the time hey Jonna hey Jonna you came to work remember no 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 are you trying to say you're off <laughs> no you're not Oh no. You can't get paid if you don't work. Right now you have a deficit of $75. Don't forget it. Sorry, you guys, I'm not ignoring you. I'm responding to messages. It's not easy.
Man, I know I slept wrong, completely wrong. Yes. Okay. So are you going to turn on the camera? Okay. You're going to turn it on the camera? You want her to just sit there looking safe? Yes, she was going to air dry. Uh, apparently, big on air dry. Big air dry. Actually, stand, stand up for one second. Yeah. There you go. The, they there. Pull it up a little. Up. They're gonna fall off. It's fine. Oh, okay. Is this the one that's No, no, you look. That's good. It just kind of depends. Like you never know. It's fine. I would like to have a consultation if possible with Crystal to show her description of my scalp sometime today. Um, Perlene, for you to schedule a consult, you'll go to our website, EliteHairCareUSA.com, um, and you'll be able to book from there. So we don't actually have anything same day. I haven't had a same day anything in a long time. In a very, very long time. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Mary. Hey, Pac. All of my YouTube members, hello, hello, and hello. If you have not received your code um, for your discount, which is your membership discount, please send us an email to info at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, and when you send that email, please include your membership type and your YouTube name, and we'll be able to get a, um, a discount code sent to you. So I tell people all the time, like, okay, if you're going to email, please be descriptive. Let us know your YouTube name. Um, let us know what membership level you chose so that we can send you your discount code. This is the only thing that I hate about these. You have to, like, wrap them and this drives me nuts. So I'm just sitting here, um, there you go. I'm sitting here putting this thing on, and as, as beautiful as they are because they keep your cords from tangling, you literally have to wrap this piece by piece. This is the most aggravating thing ever. It's great when, it, when it's finally wrapped, but until it's finally wrapped all the way, I would never tell anyone to do this. Oh. Hey, Crystal, do you have to put a lot of pressure on the pencil flat iron to make the plates meet from beginning to end? I got my new one, and the plates only meet in the very front of the iron. You have to put pressure on any iron. The plates are not going to just be automatically meeting all the time. And the reason why I say that is with H2 Pro irons, that's something that's very common. It's the way that the plates are designed. But you are supposed to apply pressure. Because even if, it, if the plates meet and you don't apply pressure, it's not actually going to give you that silky effect. So I definitely say, um, yes, you should be applying pressure, which I always describe that in my videos when I'm flat ironing as a, a common practice that you should be doing. Shout out the new member, your new members, me. <laughs> okay, can you repeat the membership code thing again? Okay, Robin. So for those of you that are YouTube members, when I say YouTube members, meaning you have paid for a YouTube membership, silver, gold, or platinum, all you need to do is send us an email with your uh, membership level, meaning what level you chose, and also your YouTube username so that we can verify your membership and we will reply with your discount code. Good morning. So you guys see how this is like, I literally have to like go around this thing. 
This is super aggravating, but it's, it better not tangle ever again for this amount of time. Mind you, I have eight of them. Okay? Eight. Eight of them. I don't care for the cord keepers. They tend to short out the clippers, flat iron. I'm going cordless. Danielle, I would love to go cordless with my flat iron, but I'm gonna be quite honest. Cordless flat irons, they don't work for me. They burn out faster. So I know like the cord keepers, I agree, but my problem is not the cord keeper per se, it's the tangling of the cord. I keep seeing somebody say sorry for your loss, Kita. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. To go around your cords, I struggle with those things. Yeah, it just, it goes around the cord. So it sits on the cord like this. And it keeps the cord from tangling because it can't like warp and bend as much. The only problem is uh, actually putting them on, and that's the most aggravating part. Kita, I am so sorry about the, the loss of your cousin. Oh my gosh, condolences, my love. So much going on in the world, so much. Pack, of course it's snowing. You're in Nebraska where people don't actually go. I wouldn't be surprised if you told me it was snowing in June. <laughs> Always give pack trouble. It never fails. Yeah, the tangling is so aggravating. But once you get these on, they're not so bad. I ordered these on Amazon. I got them one time before. And then I, I only got like two of them, so it kind of didn't make any sense. This time I got like eight of them. Adriana, Adriana, look, girl can sleep anywhere. Can you turn the AC down? You can sleep anywhere, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Um, like seventy. So for those of you that don't know, YouTube memberships get you guys discounts. Um, at certain points, I'll be doing member-only chats where only they can ask questions. Not all lives, but some. Um, but memberships like the silver membership, you get 30% off your order for the life of your membership. Um, hello. like two seconds from just doing a quarter and cutting the rest off.
All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry her. titanium iron which is the elite anniversary iron so after I blow dry her I'll filter her out down for me. All right, so we're going to start in her nape area here. So we no longer have the flat iron deals that you guys were accustomed to um, during Cyber Monday, but we do have the irons on our website at EliteHairCareUSA.com. Um, and then, of course, anytime we're having a sale, whatever the case may be, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, we are back to our regular pricing. Um, no, thank you. No, thank you. So I'm using the three tenths of an inch black diamond iron to silk out her nape area. The easiest way to get your nape nice and silky is to go up towards the crown of your head rather than trying to go down. When you go up, it gets every piece of the kitchen without burning you, okay? So you, you guys always see me go up like that. That is how I'm able to get to her nape area and make it nice and smooth, okay? So that's how it looks. So I'll show you guys on this side. Make sure you guys can see. 
So if I take this little area here, right in her little kitchen area, right? Comb through it, take my fingers, take my three tenths of an inch. You can use any one of the three tenths of an inch to do this and go up towards your occipital bone. So you're gonna go the opposite direction. It makes that area nice and straight, real easy. Okay, and then as I'm done doing that, then I'll start with my regular press, which is now what I'm gonna switch to my one inch iron. So the person who had the question about the plates only meeting in the middle, if you guys look at this iron, which is the H2 Pro um, Elite Anniversary Iron, the plates meet, but I still have to put pressure on any person or, or any client that I'm silking. You still apply pressure to the iron so that you give an, get an even silk out. If you don't apply pressure, it's going to be uneven, and then you're going to notice that your hair is not straight. It's not as straight as you want it to be. That is how I get my client's hair to be nice and straight. Any questions? Do I accept credit cards? I do. I think that's an odd question. And if you know, I'm not saying that they're asking for the wrong reason, but when people ask me that, <laughs> like you'll get, I'll get these emails from people. Hey, I wanted to book an appointment and the name might be Jack Fong. Um, and then it sounds like they're in Nigeria somewhere because of the way that they wrote the email. And then they say, um, please let me know what forms of payment you accept. You see when somebody say that? <laughs> Automatically, I know either number one, you're going to send me some type of check and expect me to go to the bank and cash it in and give it back to you. Or you're going to say, oh, you want to go ahead and pay everything up front with a credit card now. Or you're going to say that you, you're bringing a group of seven people and you want to know. Listen, I've been through all the scams, all of them. Who? Sheila. Okay, Sheila. I think Sheila's always been on the live. So yeah. I, I trust you, Sheila. I think you asked the, a legitimate question. It wasn't to scam. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you guys a little story time. I you think. Said, Don't bring New York in this chat again. <laughs> <laughs> that is New York. <laughs> um, okay, so when I. I think at this point I have both Adriana and Alex and I was living on my own, you know, trying to make it on my own. I didn't have a lot of clientele. I had just got laid off from my actual full-time job, but I was a part-time stylist where I was only working on the weekend. So if that doesn't tell you that my money was super tight, it was super tight. I had a car note of about $600 at that point. This was, Adriana was no more than maybe two years old and Alex had probably just been born a couple months before that. So I'm living in this apartment, times get super rough, and I get this email from somebody. This is why I'm so, so on top of things like, like the scam situation, right? So I get this email from someone and the email was basically asking me um, if I was willing to do a service on a group of about eight people um, you know, me, I'm looking at it from a standpoint of I don't have any money and I really need the money real bad, like real, real bad. So when the email came, I was super excited. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to do eight people. This is going to be a lot of money, blah, 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 ray, ray, ray. So the person says that they're going to send me a check for the deposit and they're going to put a little bit extra, if I don't mind, just um, deposit the extra back into their account because they had some situation. I can't remember the whole situation, the whole scenario. Oh, no. And I fell for it because when you're on hard luck, like your hard times, you're looking at it like, oh, I need this money right now. And I had already started planning my, my money. I had already said what I was doing with my money. Like I knew where I was going. I knew what bills I was gonna pay, all of this. So the check comes in the mail via FedEx. And I'm not thinking that, you know, this is illegitimate in any form because I'm so broke, I really didn't even care. Like, I was that desperate. So I take the check to Wells Fargo, 
And when I take the check to Wells Fargo, I'm super confident. I'm ready to pay. I'm ready to, I'm ready to pay. I'm ready to cash the check. And I give it to the teller. And the teller is like, um, she's like, one second. So she goes and I'm telling her I'm going to deposit it into my bank account. And she's like, okay, no problem. So she runs the check. She does all of this stuff. And I notice that another person <laughs> comes over to her window. As she's doing all of this stuff, and then I start noticing, you know, when people with suits start coming, it's a different thing. So then I see this guy walk over in his suit, and on his name tag it said um, branch manager. So he takes the check from her, and he says, ma'am, could you tell me where you got this check from? I'm like, someone sent it to me for a deposit. He's like, a deposit for what? I'm like, for hair services. The check was almost $3,000. The check was almost $3,000 because the hair services that they wanted, it totaled almost $4,500. So I'm like, okay, well, I need half now. And then, of course, you'll pay the rest when you come. So you send me a check for $3,000. And I'm looking at myself like, wait, I have rent, I have car note, I have all this stuff. When the branch manager comes, he starts asking me questions. He's like, where did I get the check? Do I know the person that gave it to me? Do I know what company the check is from? Ray, 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 because it was a business check. I'm like, sir, they just sent me a deposit. That's all I know. So he does some type of phone call. He comes back, and he's like, ma'am, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to, to deposit this check or cash this check. Furthermore, we can't give you the check back. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't give it back? He's like, ma'am, this check is fraudulent. This check is, is from a, a fraudulent account, an account that's been flagged. I'm like, well, ma'am, I got this. Or not ma'am. I said, sir, I got this check for a deposit. So... You know, if, if you can't cash the check, then give it back. He's like, ma'am, you have two choices. <laughs> you can either step away from the window and leave, or you can step away from the window and leave. <laughs> and I just looked. I was so embarrassed because everybody in the bank was watching. And the window was wide open, so it's not like you couldn't hear everything that was going on and see everything that was going on. So I literally walked out and got in my car and I, I, I counted my eggs before they hatched, which is the worst thing to do. Because I had already started making promises to pay <laughs> with people's money, thinking that this was going to work out for me. So now, fast forward, I don't take checks. Mm -mm. If you ask me any type of financial question leaning towards me taking a check, leaning towards you asking too many questions about a credit card, I don't want your credit card. I don't want none of that. I feel like I've been through every scam you can think of. I've had people walk up to me in a parking lot and ask me if I want to make some money. <laughs> I don't know if I look like the, the scam queen or what. Walk up to me in a parking lot like, you want to make some money? And it's right around tax time. <laughs> and you know, they always go, it's always in like the little, the parking lot's like save a lot. <laughs> no more for less. It's never in the public. It's, it's never the target. You know what I mean? It's never in those places. It's always in the stores where you know most times you go because either you're trying to save a couple dollars or that's just what's in your budget. So <laughs> the person walks up to me, mind you, when the person said you want to make some money, it it was this girl around this time. She was dressed like a, a butch or whatever. <laughs> You know, I, I was kind of intimidated because the way she walked up to me, you know, when girls walk up to you, it doesn't really mean a good thing around these times. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm straight. And I just keep going. So my best friend at the time, she gets caught in that same scam. Somebody walks up to her and was like, hey, you want to make some money? And she's desperate. She says yes. And they start using her bank account to drop fraudulent tax returns in it. And then she starts giving them the money. And guess who the IRS came after? Her. They came after her. They were going to lock her up. I've seen it all. I've heard it all. Listen, I think it's written across my forehead, gullible. So now, I guess, you know, back then, if I tell you guys my story of life where I really had it, like, I had it hard trying to take care of two children all by myself, trying to figure it out, wanting to be an adult really fast, 
And that's why I tell my children now, I'm like, you're in such a rush to be an adult. Adulting is not fun. It sucks. What I know now, I wish I knew when I was 14, 15, 13. I wish I could go back and celebrate my 16th birthday again. I wish I could celebrate my 18th birthday again. Because after you get to 21, there's no more excitement of, I can't wait to get to a certain age. No, baby. That, that dies. That goes away. Then bills come. Health comes. All that comes. I was joking, Adrian. There's no snacks. No. There's no snacks, baby. There's no snacks, baby. So, Kim, if you will send another email to customer service, I would be superiorly grateful. Um, because now we're done processing orders. So, at this point, we're waiting until tomorrow um, to see if anyone who hasn't received their order or whatever, we can't get any tracking information. Like, we're not holding on anything at this point, especially for November. We're all done with November. Nothing's on back order. So just send another email. Um, I'm actually working on a process to make the um, damaged product or missing product issue um, a little bit easier to navigate where we'll have an actual form and a page on the site where if you're missing a product, whatever the case may be, you'll complete that form. It gives you the option to upload the pictures, all of that in one place at, at the beginning rather than emailing and then waiting for a response us to ask you to upload pictures and all of that stuff. So I'm working on that as we speak and that'll be available on the website so that we can handle or process those, those issues a lot faster, um, be a lot more effective um, and more customer service, rather than sometimes emails going to spam, sometimes you're emailing the wrong place. It could be so many different things. So we're trying to just cut that out where everything is available to you on our site. Everything is digital, you get a confirmation that you submitted it. So when you say, hey, I submit this on this date, you have a copy of it, and I have a copy of it. So we have accountability at the same time. So you guys just kind of work with us. The Black Friday stuff, all of that stuff, I'm going to be quite honest, some of it is not just us. Some of it is the postal service deciding that they're going to hold your package for three more weeks, find it behind one of the carrier's bins, and then deliver it. It's so many different things that we've encountered through this little holiday season, but we'll work it out. I promise we're not keeping anyone's money. We want to make sure you get your product. Well, Coco, if <laughs> what I would do, Coco, is if you go directly to H2 Pro website and go to support, you actually have a limited warranty on your iron. So if you have a situation like what you're saying where if the plates are severely warped, which is a possibility, nothing's perfect, where the plates are severely warped, all you do is complete their support form. They will reach out to you. They warranty the irons. They replace them. They do whatever they have to do. And then they'll be able to tell you what to do with your iron, whether it be that they send you a re return label so they can send you a new one. They'll give you a couple of different options, which is another reason why we like that we partnered with H2 Pro, because they hold an actual warranty for it. So we don't have to really do anything on our end. You just have to show, you have to give them the receipt of the iron of you paying for it directly through us, and then they'll take care of you. Cassandra asks, can I use the hair repair and restore conditioner after the protein treatment? 
No. Is Sandra you said? Cassandra. Cassandra, you need to get the Repair RX2, which is the hydrate. That is the one system that I tell you guys it is not intermixable. You need to use Repair RX2. Can you can you bring that for me? Yeah. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. This conditioner is designed specifically for the protein treatment. So that is the Repair RX2, also known as Hydrate. It is one of the only black bottles outside of the Repair RX1 that we have. Okay, Mama, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. That's where I get more spam calls than actual people. When you become an adult, first it's, oh, I can't wait to be 13 so I can be a teenager. Right. Then it becomes, oh, I can't wait till I become 16 so I can get a job, some of them. Then it becomes, oh, I can't wait to be 18 because I'm an adult now. I can move out. Then it becomes, I can't wait till my 21st birthday so I can get a drink. You see, after you reach 21, in your mind you're like, man, I wish I was 16 again. <laughs> Because guess what? Nobody's excited to say, oh, I can't wait to be 30 so I can do my dirty 30. That does not come out of people's mouth, honey. Oh, I can't wait to hit 50 so I can possibly have a midlife crisis. Oh, I can't wait to hit 40 because I'm going to have my smile. What is it, 40? Fine 40? It's something 40. People don't say these things. Yes, we love the fact that we're aging and you get to, you know, and get to that point of life but you're not super excited to have a birthday you know why because birthdays when you become an adult means things are due things have to be renewed yes driver's license insurance mm -hmm. that's what it comes to when you get to those ages you're looking at it like oh man my knees hurt those come with it. Oh, my back. My back. Oh, my back. Is it? A, please tell me. Anybody tell me. Is it a lie? Your knees start to creak. You start hearing pops and boings and carrying on in places you didn't even know exist. Mm -hmm. That's adulting. Having children who want the world. That's adulting. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Being an adult is expensive. I don't care what adult you are. It's expensive. It comes with a price. Girl. Adulting is not fun. No, it's not. My mom always said it. She's like, you always when you have to drive, you're not going to want to drive. Nope. That's an amazing thing. And I did not believe her. And so I had to drive. It's a fact. When you have to drive, you don't want to drive. When you have a car note to pay, <laughs> you don't want to. Maybe I should have enjoyed when my mom was like, just get good grades and I'll pay your car note and insurance. Mm -hmm. I was so antsy to get a job. Ask me why. Don't know. I'm telling this one, enjoy the fact that you don't have to have a job, Adriana. Enjoy the fact that you don't have to actually work for anyone. You can work in your mom's stuff. You can work in your dad's stuff. No, they'd rather work for a perfect stranger. Okay, go ahead. Oh, absolutely. Go right on ahead. Apply. And let her keep her own money. You ain't going to make her pay bills, right? She, she does make money. Right now, she's in a deficit, but she makes money before that. She was making money. She had a whole savings. They get paid. Does she want a job? You want a job? She applies, she applies to anything she can at 15 years old. Anything that, that, uh, that resembles. Trust me, she's applied 700 times to each one. <laughs> and every time someone, like if she applies at Panera, they automatically give you an interview. So I'm automatically all over the city dropping her off to interviews. <laughs> okay. And what happens? She doesn't, she doesn't get them, I guess. 
Because Panera automatically does the interview. It's not even like they're looking at your skills to say they want to hire you or anticipate hiring you. They just, it's an automatic scheduler interview. You like being an adult? I'm comfortable. It comes with its things, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come do these things, you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm silking her hairline. All I'm doing is just lifting her hairline with my fingers, taking my iron, and smoothing her out. I'm still using my three tenths of an inch black diamond, but if you have the three tenths of an inch ceramic or the three tenths of an inch titanium. You can use any one of those and do exactly the same thing. They're called edge masters for a reason. Happy belated birthday, Mary. All right, so we're gonna trim her. Chin down for the mother. Hey, Star. I don't know if I shouted out all of my members, but hello to all of our YouTube members. Please don't forget to send us the email with your YouTube name and membership level so we can get your discount codes out to you because now everything is back to regular price. So I'm sure you don't want to pay regular price. All right. Just going to comb, um, comb her down. Spray her with a little bit of... Um, Hydra strength. Just verify that there's no no nut anything in the ingredients first. Uh -oh. Can I bring it to you? Bring it to me. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this one does, but I like to read them first. No, nah, you can't use this one. Let me see the um Nandy. I feel like Nandy she can, but let me just make sure. Let me let me read and make sure. Mm -hmm. let me make the sure. coconut, right? That's the one you coconut water. You can use that one. Just a little bit, though. Uh -huh. And then she'll go under the dryer. You don't have to rope twist her. Just comb her down. Okay. He said the most satisfying part is getting rid of those ends. I'm telling you. It makes a huge difference in your hair. My hair is not dry. Oh, well. It makes a huge difference in your hair. All right, so we're going to wrap her hair, so I'm going to make her curl slightly tighter. Not super tight, you guys, just a slight curl. Um, with natural hair, I'm going to be honest, wrapping is probably one of the best things you can do with your silk press because it just keeps your hair contained. And then I always say use a regular stocking cap, one of the ones that you get at the beauty supply for men. Those are tighter than the wig caps. Use that to um, put over your wrap when you're done. And you'll notice that your silk press will last a lot longer. All right, so we're going to spray her with a little bit of Sebastian Shaper. So what I'm going to do is just curl her.
So I'm actually going to use the same iron that I used to silk her, which is the one inch titanium. That one is the Elite Anniversary iron. I'm just doing it in large sections. Nothing fancy, just some large curls. Just like that, this large curl. Now, if you know you're gonna wrap your hair, you still wanna curl in the direction of how you typically style it, but you don't have to be super precise with the curls. You just wanna make sure that they are actual, like an actual curl. That's really all that matters. Nice and smooth. Okay, so I apply it right at the root. I turn from about an inch from the root. And then I do not remove my iron until all of the hair falls out of the iron. That's the most important part. That is how you stop yourself from getting fish hooks. How you know if an iron is good to curl with is the bevel on the iron. If it's too flat, it will not curl well. It's going to give you fish hooks. It's going to give you lines. If it has a nice bevel, the plates are nice and smooth, and it's a good quality iron, it will curl really well. So I'm going to give you guys an example of what happens if you don't maintain pressure on the iron when you're using it. Okay, you come, you go flat iron your hair, and then that's it. And then you wonder why your ends look just like this and up here is nice and silky. Or you come, you do this, and then you just pull it out. That's not a curl, okay? That's what happens. So this is why I say maintain pressure until every strand of hair has fallen out of the iron. That is a professional curl. Once you master pressure on your iron, you can do curls, you can do bumps, you can do whatever. Once you master that pressure and you, once you master how to actually curl with your iron, you'll see a huge difference. Now the quality of the iron also matters. Yes, I'm an H2 Pro girl. I've been using their irons for a long time. I love their irons. I, I probably won't switch forever because I've been using their irons way before I became a distributor. But there are other companies that also make good quality irons. So I'm not telling you guys to go throw your irons away. Use them until they die, of course. But when it's time for you to invest in another iron, I definitely say go to H2 Pro Way. I am now 100% H2 Pro on all of my flat irons and my hot combs. I'm not a huge fan of the blow dryer, so you guys won't hear me really talk about the blow dryer. I have one, but I'm an honest person. The blow dryer is not my fave. I love my Dyson and I love my Twin Turbo. Outside of that, for my hot tools, it's H2 Pro. I used to be a babyless girl, but they are too heavy for my liking and I don't want to deal with carpal tunnel in my 30s. So that's another reason why I switched from babyless. Um, but Babyliss is actually the pro brand. Conair is the company that owns Babyliss. So when you guys see those Conair irons and you're like, oh, those are cheap. Guess who makes them? Babyliss. I'm sorry, guess who? Guess who makes Babyliss? Conair. Who makes those same cheap tools. All right, I'm going to spray her with some goddess polish. If I can find it, I can never find any. I can't wait to go back to my old station. I hate this station. <laughs> Okay, so some goddess polish, nice and light. And then I'm gonna take my paddle brush. Okay, you're gonna take your paddle brush. And when you're doing your wrap, I'm gonna give you guys the quickest lesson in wrapping. All you do is comb your, or brush your hair down. Okay, I use a paddle brush. It don't matter if you get it from the Dollar Tree, wherever, as long as it has a cushion, okay? We will soon get back to elite hair care brushes, but right now, a good paddle brush with a cushion. You comb the hair down, and when you're wrapping, all you need to think is down and around. Down and around. Down and around. You guys don't ever see me touch up here when I wrap. I don't have to, because I've already smoothed that part out. So all I'm worried about now is going down and around. Once you master that technique, your wrap game will get easier and easier and easier. It is super simple once you master the down and around, that's it. If you have a lot of hair or long hair, 
You can do this and you can also use hair pins as you go until you learn to wrap your hair or until your hair is trained to stay in a wrapped formation. Eventually your hair gets trained to stay in that form. Once your hair is used to being wrapped, you'll notice that without even effort, it'll go back to its own, it'll go back in its own space every single time. I'm trying to remind you to buy some long, long hairpins, okay? Three. Three? Yes. I shall see you then, my dear. Thank you. So I don't have any more long pins, so I'm just using the short bobby pins. When you put the pins in, this part does not stick up. It needs to go down. This is the part that will give you a crook in your hair or a line in your hair. So you turn it down. The bottom of the pin is always straight. Okay, so I'm holding it like that. Usually wherever I put my, um, my hair pins, I put them right behind the ear. That's usually where the hair falls first. And then I'll put one right in the front. I don't use a ton of hair pins for a wrap. Okay, so I'll come around here, right in this area. It's typically where the hair falls as well. So I'll put one here, just like that. And then if your client's hair is still falling or your hair is still falling, I'll put one right here in the front. But I try to minimize how many hair pins I put in the hair so that my client's wrap stays nice and smooth. Okay, your wrap should be smooth. That's a wrap, period. All right, so she is all done. Part of Castillo. Oh. Is it Cash? Yes. And then and install my client's extensions. Huh? Oh, I'll get it. Thank you. Thank you, my trusty sidekick. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Bye. See you. Have a oh, grab a card from the box there and then grab a gift bag as well. Or you can grab a gift bag or a rug or whichever one you choose. You can get a rug, you can get a planter, pick one after you pick your card, pick one of the bags or one of the items in, in the bin down there. You're welcome. Does your card have a star on it? Let me see the back. No. Okay. okay. Merry Christmas. Thank you. All right, bye, bye. All right. Tell your mama I said hi. I will. All right, so she now has three different layers of protection. This last layer is so that if she perspires, where's where Adriana? Get that cord so I can put this in. If she perspires, it'll kind of help um, lengthen the life. Lengthen the life of the extensions. And then plug it right here, please. Oh, they changed these. That's different. So now they've started shrink wrapping them. I guess they've been having a lot of issues with them. This one, they do different things every Thursday. <laughs> like, this hair was never shrink wrapped. So you can tell either they have one, one of two things. People are stealing them out of the bag. Okay, from Michigan? I, I, I believe it's, it's option one. <laughs> it's option one. Because this is not normal. Right? They normally don't shrink wrap packs. Mm -hmm. They keep this behind the counter? And this, this is not even behind the counter 
um, Price hair? No, no. Is, is the thing ringing? Yes. Who's that? All right, let me see if I can split the weft on this hair. I'm gonna attempt to split the weft. It's not the easiest, but we shall try. I'm like straining to hear what you said, what you say? What do you recommend if that is not a good one? Well, no, it's not. It's okay. It de it just depends on the style. That's the problem. So it's not going to be an ideal. All the hair that you're going to use for this type of service is not going to be extremely costly hair. This hair and this brand, they make both types of hair that you use for either service. You just chose the longer one. There's another one called Tara. It comes in shorter length. It's made for like pixies. Like it, it comes like two inch, one inch, three inch or something. Adriana. So the same company that you get this, this particular hair from is the same company that's gonna make the other hair. Cause I use both. But this one is for like longer styles. I'm gonna have you hold these two like this. And then like when you get it in the, here I'll turn this way. When you get it in the shorter length, the weft is already thin like this. You have to pull it apart. You just have to pull it apart. I'm going to pull it towards you. And then pull it together. There you go. Mm -hmm. It keeps it like here, like our hair is not thick like like that. Oh, she bought you some Thank checks. You. Thanks. Now you're in a deficit of, of seventy six dollars because you're gonna pay her back. Everything costs. You're a teenager now. <laughs> Ain't nothing free in life. Don't take nothing for free. That's my oldest child. Like yes. cup, mommy. My oldest adult, huh? The cup from Panera. Exactly. Don't, I told her on her first job <laughs> interview, they asked her, did she want something to drink? And I'm like, you took it? She's like, she offered. I'm like, never take it. <laughs> it could be a test to see if you're going to take it or not. <laughs> Say, offer to buy the drink at the end. Don't take no drink. You're not thirsty. Swallow your spit. <laughs> You well, drank I, before you got there. Well, I didn't ask her. She just gave it to me. Yeah, don't bother. Just give it back to her. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hand it back. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking real crazy when I said that in the car. I'm like, they gave that to you? She's like, yeah. I said, you took it? She's like, yeah, mom. She offered it to me. I'm like, you're never supposed to take it. It's a test. Always look at it like it's a test. All right, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and apply our extensions. I am actually going to make my closure. Um, actually, we're going to come on this side. So I'm going to make my closure. This would actually be. This side is not ideal. Yeah, that's right. So my closure is going to be right here. So what I'm going to do is just take a dab of glue. And I'm going to dab my glue right in this spot so that I have a guide of where my closure is going to be. Okay? So that is how I know where my closure will be. So now when I'm applying my extensions, I can apply them knowing where my end point is. That's also a common mistake that stylists make when they're doing these kinds of services. They don't uh, um, give themselves enough room to say that they're planning out what they're doing. So you want to plan out what you're doing. You don't just want to start blind, start cold turkey. Plan it out so you know you're being intentful of how you're laying your tracks and you can see your roadmap. That is like the most important part. 
That's why a lot of stylists don't do alopecia services because they're not comfortable. They don't even attempt to try to master it and say they're gonna have a road map. They wanna do everybody's hair exactly the same and it doesn't work that way. Every time I do a client with alopecia, it's, it's always custom because every person has alopecia in a different spot. I've yet to encounter a person who has their alopecia in the same spot, the same amount of thinning, the same, the same texture hair, the same um, insecure area, the same bald spot here, the, nothing. I've never seen that. So when stylists continue to try to do the same thing to the same over and over and over, and then they don't want to try to master their skill or even enhance their skill because they think they know everything, those are the stylists that you end up leaving real quick. You'll be going to them for 20 years, and then later on you're like, well, she doesn't even do this. She doesn't look at this. I haven't seen her even offer to change this, or let's try this. It's always, they get very complacent, and they stay in the same spot. Even my me now, who is a manufacturer and distributor of product, I never stop learning. I still pay for classes. I still invest in my skill. I don't plan on being behind my chair forever, but I still make sure that my ultimate goal is to always learn something else so that I can enhance my skill and offer more services. Be able to teach more. A teacher has to be able to be taught. You can um, pin curl the top and the sides, like the, the longer piece. Um, and when I say pin curl, I mean like just very large pin curls. And then the sides in the back, you just put your scarf on it. I try to make it where you don't have to do too much, but it's, it's not 100%, oh, you don't have to touch it. Everything you have to touch. But I make it also long enough that you can curl it too. The only time you don't really have to curl is if you do a shortcut, like with the other hair. Those you really don't have to do so much. So I'm gonna save these little pieces right here because I'm gonna use those for my closure. So my pieces are nice and thin on purpose. The reason why I'm keeping them thin is because when you do your own natural hair, like when you're working with your hair, if you notice, your hair is not thick like the weft of these tracks. That's also a mistake that people make because they get super lazy or they just don't understand trying to manipulate extensions to look like your hair. Now, of course, it's not gonna be 100% like your hair, okay? I wish I, I could really just make it look like it grew out of your scalp. But in all sense, you want it to look as natural as possible or flow like natural hair or relaxed hair would flow. This is also the reason why I don't offer this service to clients who want to remain natural because I know that that does not work with this particular method. Not saying that remaining natural is a crime, but for certain styles or certain things, you have to kind of get out of that mindset that, oh, I don't, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Okay, so you want to stay where you are then. Okay, if you're okay with that, then I'm okay with that. But don't expect me to work some form of miracle out of something that is designed to be, to be done in this manner. Okay, so if you guys notice, I'm not going near my closure point. Okay, remember I said I'm using this as my guide so I know where my closure point is. I'm not going near there just yet. You'll see exactly what I'm gonna do towards the end to fill in this area here. Take off five dollars off of your deficit. That's it. That's it. Five bucks. 
You know, open it. Go to YouTube, and you should see my video kind of somewhere on the home page. Okay, so you're gonna just read the read the appropriate comments okay. to what I'm doing. You don't have to read the highs. If they ask you a question, you can read it out loud. Okay. Okay. All right. So my little one is gonna be my uh, moderator for a moment. So now I'm going to start, I'm going to bring a track all the way around right up here at this point. This is going to help to fill in that side area without making it look super weedy. Any questions, Adriana? No, no. Are they just talking amongst themselves? Yes, no. This grandpa pop up in here. Grandpa be answering questions in here. <laughs> grandpa knows hair now. So when I put that one piece on this side, you guys, I'm not going to put another piece over there because her hair is fine in texture, so I still want to mimic that look. Okay. And he's just talking amongst themselves. When did your flight leave? Sunday. Oh, you just took a whole vacation. So you <laughs> got it. Oh, okay. So we just came to just live whole life. Okay. Well, you enjoy. You alone, or you came with friends and family? Oh, my mom's birthday, Christmas Day. Oh, she was here? No. So we all came here. Uh, oh, that's really nice. So you guys want to do Disney and all that stuff? Yeah. No. I don't blame you. We did Disney screens the other day. Did you like it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's we, overrated. Yeah. Real bad. Yeah. My kids don't even want to go to Disney. They don't even ask. I read the Universal over Disney. Universal is fun. Is it? It is. It's a lot more action, it's more realistic, it's more like movie kind of thing. You know, like the rides are not, they're not like crazy, but it's, it's fun. If you like Harry Potter, you'll love it. If you're not a Harry Potter fan, then don't bother. <laughs> we are Harry Potter fans in our home. Okay. What? Can you say if you're not a Harry Potter fan, it doesn't matter? Yeah, don't bother them. No. Don't waste your time. We love Harry Potter. We got the capes and everything. We haven't had a Harry Potter night in a while. <gasps> Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, Harry Potter night. All right. We sit there and we just keep watching all of the same movies over and over. Mm. Angela Johnson said, are you making the closure or you have a pre-made one? With the longer hair, I'm actually going to make the closure. Um, I don't have the pre-made one. I like the pre-made ones too, but... With this hair, it doesn't come with the, the pre-made closure, so I'll just make one. Then Brenda Allen said, how long will your hair stay like that? Um, this service is designed to last no more than three, I usually say two to four weeks. Um, the first time getting it done, this is usually where you are, this is the judge. This is the judge phase to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, this should perspire a lot. Then at that point, that gives us an idea of what to do and what not to do going forward. So I try to ask as many questions at the beginning as I can based on the experience of me doing this service to so many people. Um, but 
you know, it, it's never going to be the same. So it's kind of just dependent on the client. All right, when I get to this part right here, I try to minimize how much closure piece I need because I want it to look very natural. And then I don't want my closure to be big. So I try to make this part really small, like just make it smaller and smaller until I close it out. Any more questions? No, ma'am. So Mary has a weave bob. When she takes it out, should she do a protein treatment or a moisture, or a moisture treatment? Um, I mean, even though you're low porosity, once you say that you're relaxed, you are going to be treated as high porosity. So I would say do the protein treatment because you're going to have to add the hydrate anyway, Mary. So you're going to automatically hydrate the area with the step two of the Repair RX protein. So, I mean, either way, you're going to moisturize. That's why I would say to do the protein over the moisture treatment. What made you get into alopecia services? What made me get into alopecia services? Honestly, I didn't really wake up one day and say, oh, I want to do alopecia services. It kind of became surrounded around my products. So I designed a hair repair serum with CBD as my main ingredient, um, which was my first product. And I mean, it was really designed for any client. It wasn't even just alopecia clients. It was designed for everybody. And I started doing more and more videos and it just kind of, I just kind of ended up falling into alopecia services because that's the majority of the people that were coming to me from watching the videos. It was all about the hair care and the alopecia care. So I just ran with it. And I just, I began loving it because I'm not a, a creature of um, repetition. I don't like repetition. I'm very impulsive. I don't like to do the same thing over and over and over. So this kind of kept me in my creative juice where I didn't have to do the same thing every time. And that's kind of where I got. It was like, I was struggling for so long to find my place in the world of hair, trying to do everything. And then eventually I, I just got blessed with this and it just never stopped. Was the questions I was going to ask you what? in the classroom, Dr. Lewis class. Oh, what made me get this to this? Yes, ma'am. Oh, great. I wish you were in that class because I'm going to give out products and stuff. I already have a, I have a whole lesson plan, Chris. Someone knows voice. Huh? Someone knows voice. They'll be all right. <laughs> they can use female products. They have hair. Most of the boys in your school have hair. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, is it tight on the head or heavy? Is it tight on your head? Is it heavy? No. Does it feel like you have a ton of hair on your no, head? No, not at all. So that is your answer. It's not supposed to feel tight. It's not supposed to feel heavy. If it's done right, you guys, it's supposed to feel like it's your hair growing out of your scalp. That's another reason why I don't offer traditional weaving services. Like, I'm not a traditional person. I want, I want to make my client feel good. I want to actually have my weaves have a purpose, not just because. All right, so I'm going to put my closure piece here. Actually, i got to put one little piece. Big one. Um, back to the protein treatment, motion treatment model. She said, what kit should she get? Um, the uh, stop shedding kit. The stop shedding kit is the kit you get for that. Carmelita Hearn. Can I make an appointment with you? I live in Southern California. I have severe alopecia. What's her name? Um, Carmelita Hearn. Carmelita, to make an appointment, if you go to EliteHairCareUSA.com, hit the book link, and that will take you to my schedule where you'll be able to plan around that. My calendar is open month to month, so right now you can only book for January. Um, I'm not sure what's left in January, so whatever you see there is what's available. If you're coming... Um, a specific date or a specific month, then you have to wait until the 15th of the month before to book for that month. All right, so now I'm going to put my closure piece. 
Okay, I needed to make that hole a little bit smaller. So we have our closure piece here. Okay, and then I also put a little bit of hair here just so I can give her the illusion of a little more fullness on this side, but I didn't want to make it where it was too heavy because remember her hair is fine in texture. So, okay, here we go. So, <laughs> huh? No, my comb keep dropping. Everything I touch is dropping. I know what's coming when I keep doing that. I know where I'm at. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to make it where it was unrealistic. And then we'll use a little bit of masket fiber, which she can also use at home as well for just this little area here. But you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about in just a second. Linnea Lowe said, mm -hmm. so once you're done, are you going to curl it or straighten it? It's already straight. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut it and curl it. All right. Chin down for me. So I'm not going to mess with this little piece up here yet. I'm going to work on her hair first. Okay, so we're gonna fix her sides, all of that stuff. This piece up here, that's the last thing we'll really worry about. Melissa Beach said, are you close to Destin, Florida? Where is Destin? Oh no, honey, that's not even Florida. That's like, that's like Texas, that's not Florida. Honey, I'm in Florida, that's not Florida. No, I'm not near Destin. In artworks, photograph, uh, photography, my cousin has alopecia. So it, it, it is devastating. I wish she could come for your service. She is in a, another state. May God always bless you for your gifts and will, willingness to give the client self-confidence. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And Sharon Cardi said, Crystal, your hair looks beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. So what I'm doing is I'm cut, cutting some of the length in her back area. Um, the reason why is the longer the hair is, the harder it is for her to care for it back here. So if you're going to have a short area, just be short. Now, I don't have to taper her like my hair, but I'm going to make it short enough that she doesn't have to like worry so much about back there, about doing anything back there. And it will be easy for her to mold if she has to ever mold it again. And this is something that we were also talking about because she's coming from another state um, where she has to find a stylist in her area that will be able to replicate what I just did. The issue that stylists have, it's not being able to do the service again. It's being able to do the service from ground zero to get her to the point where it can be replicated as like a roadmap. Most stylists are not into starting from scratch. They're not... Um, trained so well just yet dealing with clients like her where they have extensive forms of alopecia or give me the face covering please they have um trouble areas you have to be able to manipulate and mask and all of that so you're just gonna put it just like that they have to be able to manipulate it and mask those areas that's usually the biggest problem so once i lay out the roadmap, then at that point, a stylist can look and see, okay, oh, okay, I see what she did. And then they're able to go from there. But if you ask them to start from scratch and they're not into this kind of stuff or, or they don't understand blending and all of that, then it's like you're taking them out of their comfort zone. Some stylists are just that. They're stylists. How far are you from Pensacola, Florida? Just like that. Far. Pensacola is not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm far. Pensacola is like Japan. That is not Florida. <laughs> Florida is like Miami, you know, Tampa, mm -hmm. West Palm. I wouldn't even say Poinciana is, is Florida. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, anything in the panhandle, that's Texas. That's not Florida. That's Louisiana. That's somewhere else. Mm -hmm. They're not even in the same time zone. That's how you know they're not Florida. <laughs> you can take it down. After three years, I've decided to start by perming my hair. I don't know if I should or not, but it will be more convenient for me. Then you do what works for you. Me personally, I don't want to be natural. 
I say this every time someone makes that comment. I don't aspire to be natural. I, I'm not against anyone who is natural. That's your business. You do what works for you. Me personally, natural costs more money to take care of. Natural don't give me any form of style. I feel like I can't look like something all the time. And you work so much harder to me with natural hair. Your focus is always moisture and moisture and all oh, this and texture. And you see when you're relaxed, <laughs> your focus is, okay, is it straight? Is it soft? Great. Do I need to add any moisture? All right, good. And we're done. This is why all these companies are targeting this. Oh, relaxers cause cancer. And they're doing that because they know that relaxed people don't buy hair care product like that. So the latest thing is the hairspray. I, I saw the commercial oh, a couple of times. Like if you have used hairspray, and of course it's a black woman on there. I'm like, oh my goodness. They get on my nerve with the foolishness. Mm -hmm. Like that's all, I'm going to be quite honest. That's all retailer tactics. If I want to sell, I'm going to teach you guys the game, okay? If I need to sell more moisturizing shampoo, I'm going to make a video talking about why you should moisturize your hair, and then I'm going to home in on those who need to moisturize more. Or as the retailers that have no morals and ethics, they will create a problem, and they will create things like, oh, this client got cancer from this. This client got this. They don't really know that the client got anything from that. They're just using that as a marketing tactic for you to now say, you know what? I'm going to go natural and I'm going to trust this company that said this because they were the ones that said it. And they say that they make a product that is um, anti this and anti that. And it's, it's the same thing over and over and over. It's all technique. It's all marketing skills. If you know anything about marketing, then you know what they do. So me, I don't. I don't try to bash anything. I don't feel like I should have to, which is probably why my brand is still surviving because I'm not falling in the lines of bashing something or making something sound dangerous for me to sell a product. What is the recommended time she can keep the leave, the leave in hair in without it bothering the alopecia part of her hair? Or it does not matter? Uh, it definitely matters. I will never say it does not matter. All hair that you have on your head matters. That's the reason why I, I don't care if it's three strands of hair, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to protect it. I'm going to do what I have to do. Um, but typically with this type of style, you don't really want to go past four weeks. Four weeks is the maximum. Because what happens is if you continue to perspire, every time you perspire, it melts away some of the protective. Right? So as it melts away the protective, every time you perspire, that hair is going to dry or that area is gonna dry. The adhesive does not melt away, okay? It is a latex form of adhesive, even though it might be latex free. And then what, it's not gonna to bind to the protectant anymore because the protectant is no longer there. So now it starts to bind to the hair that's there or the scalp that's there. So you don't wanna go long-term with that because eventually it's gonna bind and now when you go to take it off, it's gonna take that hair with it. That's the reason why I don't go past four weeks when I tell people how long they can keep their style. I always say two to four weeks. You'll never hear me give you a whole date. Would you consider coming to LA to do hair? No. If I travel, I'm not traveling to do hair. Did you do that? Hmm? Did you do that? Do what? Oh yeah, I tried that, yeah. No, I used to travel and do hair, but I'm gonna be honest, you guys. It's not that I don't wanna travel and do hair. I love to travel and, it's, it's a thing that stylists like to say, oh, I travel, I'm going here, I'll be here. It's, it's kind of like a, a high. You get this high from it, right? Because it sounds like you're worldwide and you're, you're just doing great things. But let's be honest, traveling to do hair, if you're not going to stay in one place for over a week and service 20 to 40 people, that trip is a waste of money. You're not going to make your money back. And the way I like to travel, I'm not skipping how I travel on the regular because I'm going to travel for work. It's on my dime. So I'm still going to travel how I normally would. And that is it's just not worth it for me to be someplace for a day. I'm a mom, so I can't be gone six weeks at a time. And nor do I want to be gone that long. So that's another reason why I just stopped the traveling altogether because it just wasn't worth it. I was not bringing back what I put out. All right, so I still am being lazy and hasn't gotten um, a new razor yet, so just mind your business. Um, I am doing what a stylist should not do, so do as I say and not as I do. 
we are technically not supposed to have open razors. I can openly say that because I'm doing it, you guys. Um, but as a barber, if you have a barber license, you can use an open razor. But I'm using my razor as a um, thinning razor right now where I, I need to just go to the store and stop being lazy. But I'm just using this to feather her hair rather than use the shears. But I am being super careful that I'm not anywhere near her skin. Like I use my finger to make sure that I'm touching her ear and not my razor mistakenly touch her ear. Any products in your store? I mean, in your salon? Yeah, I have some. I have some. Not all of them, but I have some. Mm -hmm. It's like what the up? shampoos and conditioners I do. What and about the um, irons? No, I have no space for those. So I only have like the shampoos, conditioners, some of the styling aids, um, the masket fibers. I have some here. Wrap foam, the growth stimulator tool, and some serums. How long do you want your bangs? Uh, I, 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 don't know. I don't have a pack bangs because I'll be able to, it'll be curled up, pin curled, right? Well, not when you leave. I'm saying um, I'll be able to pin curl to keep it out of my face. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just want it to be cute. I got you. <laughs> when it's fresh though, like the first day or two, mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of like super floppy. So don't get frustrated. That's because the hair is super new. After like day one, two, when you start sweating, you start moving normally, it just kind of just meshes right in like natural hair. And so I would need to put the, um, the mold on there? No. Okay. That's only if you, if your hair won't lay down okay. on the sides and the back, then you can use some of the wrap foam. Like you'll just basically like use a rag, clean the area because it needs to be clean, like your sides, mm -hmm. wipe it really well. Um, and then you'll use the wrap foam, mold it down. Don't touch this part. Mm -hmm. Put some strips on, like mm -hmm. two strips, go under your dryer, and then you're done. Okay. And just let it dry, but you don't have to touch the top at all. It's just the sides. So you just kind of like pin this out of the way. Okay. Yeah, then I might get some wrap foam. Okay. Shirley Fairley says, I am natural and I love my natural hair. The only problem I have is shedding and it's very dry all the time. What product do you recommend that I use for my dry natural hair? If it's shedding, then you can use the Repair RX1 and Repair RX2, which is a protein treatment. Now, if it's shedding because it's dehydrated, then you need to do some intense moisturizing. We have our dry brittle bundle kit. If you can't get the bundle kit, you guys, you can just see what products are in the bundle kit and just build the bundle kit yourself. Um, but the dry brittle kit will kind of give you everything you need for you to be able to do some intense hydration and moisture treatment. And that'll help. But if you're low porosity, your dryness is kind of a thing all the time. So just kind of keep that in mind. I right, put it on. Travel Dreamer said, do you provide alopecia services for, fine, for Caucasian fine hair? I haven't offered the service to a Caucasian client in this form. Um, mainly probably because I haven't been challenged with it, but I, I know I can do it. So I won't say no. I just haven't had to do it. So, yeah, because this hair actually mimics Caucasian hair, which is the craziest part. So, I mean, we can use the same hair and, and do the same thing. It just really just depends. Or even hair replacement services is an option. So the difference between this and the hair replacement service is the hair replacement service is an actual prosthetic that you use long on a longer term, right? So it doesn't come off. It's something that you glue down. Um, you use it kind of in that sense, whereas this service is a temporary styling kind of thing. It's only up to four weeks. The prosthetics can be up to, I think like six to eight weeks and then you use the same prosthetic again so that's kind of the difference between the two. That's why the prosthetic service costs a lot more. We call it cranial prosthesis. That's why it costs more because it's a little more work um, and it, it's a little more, I'm not gonna say permanent, but lasting. Haley Butcher says, my hair has got very dry since menopause. What do you recommend? 
Um, I would number one say, what's your porosity first? Um, if you're if you're low porosity, um, then I would say the moist repair or the dry brittle kit. Uh, you definitely also can try, try some natural remedies to help lessen the effect that your menopause has on the body. That has a lot to do with it too. Um, moisturize a little more often. Um, I mean, that's kind of it. Like with, with menopause, it's kind of a beast on its own. Everybody's menopause happens in like very different space. All right, so I'm just carving out her hairline, giving her a hairline to distinguish from the weave. But I also have weave here. So there's weave on top of her hair here. So it, it looks like it grew from her scalp, not knowing that it's actually coming from up here. Is the sale available for your products today or only tomorrow? Is there a special code? So there's no sale going on. We just restocked all of our products that were out of stock. Um, but there's no actual sale, my love. You can buy whenever you're ready. Now, if you're new to my channel, you can use code YouTube20 and save 20% off your first purchase for those of you that are new. Also, don't forget if you're located in Canada or the UK, or Europe in its entirety. Um, we do have, you okay, mama? You good? I'm good, okay. We do have um, distributors in both areas. So we have our Canada distributor, where she's doing 35% off everything right now. And then our UK distributor, which is Olive, she is based in Europe, but she services all of Europe, Africa, um, and some of the other countries out there. And then our Canada distributor, she services all of Canada to save you guys the duties and taxes and all of that stuff, because it's super high. All right. So her cut is done. Can you guys see how natural her sides look? You can take it down. See how natural her sides look? That's what we're going for. You want it to be natural. You want it to look like it's her hair. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some Elite Masket Fibers in the color black, which we are sold out of the black, you guys. We have dark, actually I'm going to use dark brown. We have dark brown, which is what I'm going to use on her hair. So This hair looks great. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is lift the weave up. This is how you apply fibers to all the way over here. And you're going to just sprinkle the fibers like seasoning. If you don't know how to cook, this is going to be very complicated for you. Okay? But for those of us that know how to cook, you're going to sprinkle it like seasoning. Okay? And then you're going to tilt this way for me. And you see how it just covered that area? That's the dark brown that I use. Okay? So what I'm going to do... <laughs> you know, you got to put a little humor in there. If you can't cook, honey, you're not going to be able to do this part. Then I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray and I'm just going to lightly spray right there. That's going to help to lock it in. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. And I use dark brown. I didn't use black. I use dark brown. So those of you that are afraid of our dark brown masket fibers, mm -hmm. that's what it does. If you have hair that is a number two, I like to use weave colors because everybody kind of understands weave colors. Mm -hmm. If your hair is a number two, this will work for you. I like how natural that hair looks. What brand is that hair? This is uh bump. No, doobie. It's called doobie. Where, where did I put my spray? Did I put that? Right there, mom. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of Sebastian Schaefer here in her front area. This is gonna give me some traction for her curling. If you guys notice, I still have not applied any type of hard spritz to her hair. I haven't applied any oils to her hair. I'm being very sparing with the amount of product that I use. If you use a ton of product at the beginning, the style is going to get very old very quick. Okay? So now I'm just going to start curling. I like to sometimes curl from the top down. I feel like it works for me. <laughs> if it don't work for you, that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to use my ceramic. So I'm going to use my one-inch black diamond iron rather than the... Um, Titanium. Go what ahead. city are you in? I'm in Orlando, Florida. I just say Orlando. Mask it. How long does it last on the hair? It's temporary. It can be used on a daily basis if need be. 
All right, so this is the one inch black diamond. This is the Supreme Pro. I always call this a Supreme Pro iron. This is not your, um, it's not a retail friendly iron. Whereas the other irons that we carry from the same company, which is H2 Pro, those irons actually have automatic shutoffs. These do not, um, these do get very hot. And if you leave them on for two weeks, they stay on for two weeks. Like I've gone on vacation and came back and an iron was still on. Mm. So my irons burn out real quick. Mm -hmm. And then I'm kind of, I'm directionalizing, directionalizing my curls because I want them to kind of hover over the nape area to start giving her that cascade look, that fullness back here, okay? But it still blends with her hair. That is the goal, to keep the blend. And then when I get over here, I'm gonna start just doing some vertical parting. Who can tell me why I am doing vertical curls or vertical partings rather than going line by line? Thank you. See, that's how you know she's a watcher. I'm like, I'm the watcher. <laughs> she's like, it gives the illusion of fullness. See, don't, that's, that's a pro right there. I can tell a pro from afar. <laughs> Thank you. The illusion of volume. It builds the volume and I can curl faster. I am not going line by line. I can't stand that. You're curling each individual line. Like, that's going to make any difference in this style. It's, if, you, if you cut it right and it's layered right, it won't work. It won't even matter. If it's layered right, it will lay. See? Okay. It's beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Will you open a cosmetology school? I will not. <laughs> <laughs> I like will the not. Best you get YouTube. This is it. <laughs> this is it, honey. No cosmo, nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to teach anybody in a formal setting. I'm an informal, impromptu kind of person. I don't want to be stricken to have to do anything. Mm. I mean, you get a lot of jewels, a lot of good information. But that's why I do, because I'm doing it naturally, not because I'm being forced to do it, not because they say I have to teach it this way. If I want to tell you whatever I want to tell you today, I can do so because I am not stricken to what I have to say. Mm -hmm. The only thing I think might be difficult is your t cutting technique. That's hard. Like, uh, cutting is something that you, you, you can be taught, but you have to already know how to cut. And blending and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So, like, if you don't know basic cutting... You, you can't go to school and learn to do trendy haircut. It just, it's not the same thing. Mm. Even when you think you know how to cut, you don't. Because something always comes out, some new style comes out. And with cutting, you kind of learn by trial and error. Like I've jacked up a good amount of haircuts now. <laughs> I've sent, in Cosmo school, I've sent a couple people out looking stupid. It's, no. I've, I've been, I've done a lot of brushing on some clients. <laughs> Put your, um, your piece here. Whenever you see a stylist that's continuously brushing an area, that means she messed up your cut. Just know that. Or they try to tell you, oh, yeah, that piece was like that. Oh that God, piece was like that. So beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Really gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Is the ceramic iron the best used for natural last question? I would say crystal But I know not to cry in crystal chair. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even with it. Just... Let's keep it together, sister. I love that you love it. I don't want no tears. I am not one of those people. Like, please, just don't. Because then we're going to be crying together. It's just, it's just too much for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. what, what was the question, Adriana? Um, is the 
is a ceramic iron best used for a natural relaxed course cut here. There's not really a, a best use for when it comes onto an iron. You're just kind of using the iron based on what, what you're doing. So some of my natural clients, I can use ceramic. Some of my natural clients, I wouldn't dare touch them with a ceramic iron because it's going to do nothing. Nothing. Hmm. So it just kind of depends on the situation at hand. Mm -hmm. If you have coarse textured natural hair, then I wouldn't even use a ceramic iron to silk you, but I will use it to curl you. So it just, it just depends. Hmm. All right, so for over here, I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to curl it too much because remember, I put some of the track hair in this area, okay? I put some of it right here. So if I go and try to give her like these tight curls, it's going to take away the effect of me covering this area with extensions to make it slightly fuller, okay? So I'm not going to put a lot of curl here. I'm just going to kind of use the iron just to smooth it so that it blends well and then just kind of blend it into where I'm at here. And that's it. Now back here, we can put a little bit of curl if you need to. Sometimes in the back here, it needs a little bit of heat just to kind of give it the direction. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I try not to even put too much curl down there because then it puts the strain on the client to think that they have to curl down there. So I try not to go too far down. I get roasted a lot for not going so far down, but y'all will be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, for this area here, actually, let me brush off, brush off your hair. Hold on. All right. That's a lot of work to be a teacher. You also have to be a parent informally. Absolutely, and I'm not taking care of no grown person. If I tell you one time to do something, I'm not going to tell you again. You're not my kid. <laughs> You're an adult. What was the question? Well, they were talking about opening the school. Um, and that's when I was like, no, I, won't, I, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you have to be another parent, too. You do. Yeah, it's 30 and 40-year-old women that they didn't learn anything. And they're in Cosmo school, and they're, they weren't with their parents. They didn't have any experience. They didn't have a childhood. You know, you're their parent. No, 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 no. No, baby. I have kids. I'm okay. I have two dogs. That's even worse. I'm fine. Well, one of our dogs escaped the other day, <laughs> which was Prince. And Junie called me cursing and carrying on because that's, that's his, you know, dog's a man best friend. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to be resourceful. So I go on the Ring app. You can take it down. I go on the Ring app and I'm like, okay, I see all the time people put their lost dog up, but you never pay attention until it's now your dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I put our dog up with a picture. I have to go find a picture and everything. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, what if Prince doesn't come back? Because, you know, Prince is, that's my dog. <laughs> that's, that's my boy right there, okay? So I started wondering because I'm like, we're going we gonna to end up crying. You know, the dog's not here. I didn't tell the kids anything. I just kind of kept it quiet. So my, our neighborhood security gate people messed around one time and sent an email to me with everybody's email address and I was CC'd on it. Mm. But they didn't know that. So I went back to that email and copied everybody's email address. And I sent out a very polite email and I'm like, hey, sorry to bother you. Um, our dog got away and he's a pit bull. So, you know, it's, it's a very white neighborhood. So mm -hmm. telling them you got a pit bull and you, mm -hmm. all this stuff. So... I worded it correctly, and I'm like, if you'd be so kind as to look out into your yard to see if you see our dog, mm -hmm. within three minutes, a neighbor Whoa. replies, oh, we have him, <laughs> and gave me his phone number. So he tells me, he answers the phone, he's like, yeah, he just walked up to my wife, she was doing Christmas, Christmas lights and wouldn't stop following her. But he was just being so nice, so we just put him in the back. The man goes and takes a colored picture of the dog and everything. He puts two nice colored pictures oh, and tapes wow. it to his mailbox. Oh it was like, lost dog. You, you did all of this in like 10 minutes. Oh Listen, I'm like, oh, wow. Because Junie, Junie started telling me, like, oh, there was two white trucks. You know, they're still my dog. And he's like, these are, these, are not, these are not cheap dogs. He calls them shit dogs. He's like, these are not shit dogs. These are, these are exotic dogs. Because they are. He's like, I saw the truck. And when I went over to them and asked them about the dogs, they tried to play stupid like they don't know. <laughs> he, was like, he put his on one side. He was just so bad about it. So we found the dog. Long story short, we found the dog. You know, Prince was fine. <laughs> he went inside, and Prince was looking like, thank you. <laughs> he was looking like he was so glad to be home. It was so funny. 
So now it's like a little kid that runs in the street. Now you keep watching him. Like, yeah, exactly. where's Prince? Where's he going? Where's he going? So the one thing I can't get with in Florida are the little geckos. Oh, a lizard, you mean? They're not geckos. They're lizards. We have lizards. Okay, so <laughs> they're more afraid of you than you are of no, them. I know, I, I know, but I can't. Do they mess with those? The dogs mess. With Cash them? will eat them. He chases them. Oh, Cash chases and eats anything though. He'll eat. Oh, he'll God. eat another cat if he could. Oh, Cash eats lint. He eats he bugs. Oh, he's anything. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna have you put this right here so I can give you a once around. Okay. All right, you guys, so I'm going to give you guys a once around of her hair. Tell me what you think. Give me some fire oh emojis God. in the oh, comments, please, goodness. and thank you. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to turn you guys this way so she can get a look for herself. All right, you can take it down. Oh, my God. Oh, my okay. God. I want to look at her. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh, Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank Gorgeous. you. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Okay, wow. so take your glasses back off. So, so when you put your glasses on, you make sure it goes over your hair. Okay. Okay, so you put it in. Okay. There you go. On that side, and then you make sure it's on your side over here. It keeps oh, your side down. Nice. That's how you do so it. So beautiful. All right. <laughs> All right, buddy. You want to take this back home with you? Um. I would say yes, yeah. just in case somebody needs to replicate this. You can tell them what hair you use so they understand. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my mm, mm, mm. Lord, have mercy. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. Just put your bag there if you want. Thank you. Oh, Just put it there. It's beautiful. All right, my dear. So if you want to So where you go, where you going tonight? Where are you going tonight? <laughs> oh, see you got a star. Uh -uh. Okay. Oh, there's a gift in there okay. anyway. And then if you like. You can pick a gift bag okay. or anything from here okay. as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to blow the hair out. Okay. You have to go out. You have to go out. You have to. Oh, my goodness. Mm. <laughs> tell that story in the way. Not today. Right. Wait, right. Just wait till, wait till tomorrow. You got to go out. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You're so Thank you. So beautiful, beautiful. I just don't know how much better this makes me feel, really. You look gorgeous. Thank you. I thought I'd take her with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, let me get here. Yes, I had to get together a plan to kind of like kidnap Crystal. Oh, thank you. And Crystal, you'll see the receipt in that card. That's for you to scan. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> you know the key to my heart. Give me your receipts, please. That is the key to my heart. The receipt. It's just a small token of appreciation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 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 All right, my love. Let me see you on the trim as well, right? Yeah, I need to take an inch off of it. I never thought I would actually be looking forward to getting it. How about you getting the inch taken off? Because I was like, oh, God, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, it's not falling right. It's not falling right. Oh, my gosh. Make sure you take a ton of pictures. Oh, your hair smells great. It, it, I don't. If it's your touch, your products, whatever, but it did so well. Thank you. It did so well. Mm, mm, mm. Want to read some comments, Idra? I never saw your fibers before. I was wondering, would those work back here? No, it's too no. far back. So that's a good question. So her question was, will the hair fibers work? Hold on. One, two, three. I'll tell you guys the answer in just a second. Hold on. B-U-R-R-E-L-L. -R -R -E oh, okay. That's why I was putting the 
Is it? I'm gonna just hand it right here. Okay. And then you'll put your phone number if it asks, or your email for it. So her question was, will the fibers work back here? Even though, yes, they will, they will actually work, right? It's too far down in the nape for me to say that it would be effective on even a temporary scale. Because number one, it's covered by other hair. So something's mm. gonna always be rubbing on it. And it's in the nape area, so gravity works where it's, it's down. It's too far down. Mm. Whereas up here, it sits on it and yeah. it can't slide down. Does that make sense? It does, it does. All right, go ahead. Going through right. the last year next week, natural hair for me has become too much, but I've ordered a lot of the products. Thanks for always sharing your knowledge. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Miss M. Miss M. Don't forget to take some photos of yourself, okay? okay. I will. I will. Okay. So you can always have an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And then this video, you'll know to go back on this day, so you'll be able to see it just yes. the same. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right, honey. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your vacation. I'm going to take a bath. Thank you. Yes, Thank you so much. Take no care. problem. Safe travels, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Evonne. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is it? You put an apple tag on Prince's collar. Oh, what? Apple tag. What's an apple tag? I think it's for the, the apple part. Phone from stuff on what are you talking about? An apple tag on Prince's collar, like when you know, like the apple phone. Girl, I don't know what that is. You can. <laughs> mm. I see your grandpa on there. Where, mommy? You don't see him says how old Williams? You know your grandpa? Oh, I see it now. Hi, Dad. Grandpa uses emojis and talks. He emojis us to death. <laughs> So my day is split in half, you guys, because after this, we have to go and get my younger daughter and then go to Christian school, which Alex gets out at, what, 11? 11.30 is the last one, right? This one. Okay, so I got to rush out of here to go and get her and then go to Christian school and build gingerbread houses and then come back to work at 3 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. You're building gingerbread Please. houses, Mom? Yep, and you guys are going to help the children whose parents don't come. Okay. It might be at work. Be careful something. with this weather, the way this weather is supposed to be. Well, they're saying that they're not, if it rains, we're going to have to just do it inside. So. Okay, gotcha. And I have to go help finish setting up. Now, what temperature, is, this is the titanium, I have the titanium at home. Yes, if you're silking your hair from scratch right mm -hmm. after washing it, mm -hmm. I have it at 450. 450, okay. If you're just doing, hold on, um, Adriana, if you're just doing just a regular curl, start mm -hmm. at 400. Go ahead. I'm saying hi, Grandpa. He said hi. Oh, he can't hear. He said hi too. Yes, ma'am. He knew it was you. He said hi, my granddaughter. See you soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are. Yeah. You said no. You gotta ask your dad. He'll tell you. Don't go say nothing. His natural hair, natural hair, and though I love a silk press, I worry about the heat damage. Another thing is I detest electrical smell of hair dryer so i would like to skip how can i prevent shrinkage and air dry you cannot air drying you're still going to shrink even if you were to rope twist your hair mm. it's still going to shrink so you can partially air dry meaning like allow it to air dry a little bit and then go and blow dry it but me personally i just sit under the dryer i mean i wouldn't i don't know why you detest the smell of a dryer. they don't really have a smell i'm mm -hmm. kind of confused mm -hmm. you might need to switch your dryer honey Dryers don't really have a smell in us, so that's kind of mm -hmm. odd. I'm rinsing my conditioner out in cold water, as you suggest. But then I turn around and blow dry my hair. Will that reopen the cuticle fo or follicle or no? Which is the worst, hot water or hair? Um, I mean, I don't blow dry hair when it's sopping wet. So I'll be quite honest. You should allow your hair to air dry under a hooded dryer with diffused heat after you wash it and then you blow dry it and is it going to open the cuticle no not in in that sense mm -mm. good question but no oh grandpa really uses emojis i told you your grandpa uses emojis and talks he love an emoji mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. miss enrica asks if you can bring disinfectant disinfectant sprays 
till I only have a half a bottle here. Can can I bring her that for now? So I'm at work, so I only have half a bottle here. You want me to wrap your hair or you gonna wear it out? Uh, no, let's wrap it. Okay. But I want to curl. Curl, curl? Yeah. Because I even brought my shower cap the way they were talking. Yeah, really that's why I was like, I should just wrap yeah, it. Yeah, but exactly. I want to exactly. cut it first so yes. I can't really like curl it, curl it. Just mm -hmm. you guys so i'm just silking her you can read the questions i'm silking her so i can cut off about an inch and then i'm gonna curl her slightly tight and then we are out of here with my hair looking like it's not curled but we gonna be just fine what exactly are hair fibers is it a pill some some cream and edge pen for the scalp etc may i see a photo of the hair fiber please so hair fibers are keratin fibers that they build like and look like hair fibers that's what they really are so if you google hair fibers you can see a photo of them or keratin hair fibers let me be specific keratin hair fibers Okay, you guys, I'm going to cut her. She said take off about an inch. Chin down for me. So when a client tells me a length to take off, I'm going to start from my base here. Now, just because she said take off an inch, that doesn't mean that when I take off the inch in the back, I can take off an inch in the front. I'm still going to make her cut even. So I'm more than likely going to take off an inch in the back and just clean up the front because her front is shorter. I forgot I wanted to give some of the masking fibers. Oh, sure. Ooh. Adriana, give her, um, you want the black or the dark the brown? Dark brown. Oh. And then what kind of spray do I put over it? Well, well I'm going to put some. You mean to like hold it or just yeah, for shine? To hold it and then you put this on and put a spray on it. That's this. Okay. It's called Sebastian Shaper. So okay. if you go to um the link in my description box, okay. it'll take you to like all my links. Okay. And you go to the Amazon store and you okay. can get it in there. Okay. I'm just going to make it kind of hard on because I see the breeze is blowing and it's yes. going to keep flopping. Yes. Okay. That's the 19. Hmm. The fibers are 19. Okay. What say, Adriana? Oh, it's not. Oh, nowhere. This one? The kind of this one? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Since last wash day, I tried the hooded dryer, then blow dry. Get great advice. Yep, it works really well. It's not so damaging to the hair. It says it's sent you a receipt. Okay, cool. Thank All you, right, Mama. Thank you. We'll take, take care. care of you, Mama. Good. Is it good to use all those products on her hair with her condition? To use all of what products on what hair? Maybe, oh, you're talking about my client who has the alopecia service? Well, I mean, technically, she already has alopecia, babe. So it's like, 
she, she can't necessarily go backwards and it's scarred okay so at this point she wants to have a style that is going to compliment her and give her the confidence that she had when she had all of her hair so of course protecting her hair as best possible if she wants to get a style like that where it requires a relaxer then relax it but you know sometimes we get so caught up on oh all this product all this product decline all this product all this product all this product when really we're doing our best to just protect what she has so that she can have a style right so it's no different from you using a ton of different lotions on your body i'm sure you don't say all that product when you put lotion on or when you go buy bath soap when you buy perfume that's a ton of product you know so it's like don't get so caught up on on that part because it's just it's not going to hinder anything especially because she's already scarred like she's already in a scarring situation where that hair is not coming back how are dominican blowouts are they good for your hair um, I mean, I'm not going to say that Dominican blowouts are bad for your hair. It just depends on which person is doing it. They've gotten bad mm -hmm. reps because some of them are just, I don't care. Like, they don't have a care for your hair as they would for their own hair. Mm -hmm. Then some of them are very gifted, but because of the stereotype of all Dominicans in the salons, they all get put in the same boat. So I'm not going to say it's, it's good or bad. It's just depending on who does it. All right, so I'm gonna give her some curls because I'm gonna wrap her. I'm just giving her some nice tight curls. Anything else? No. And her crown area here is slightly shorter, which as I was saying before, when I'm like, okay, she requested I take an inch off. That doesn't mean I need to take an inch in areas that's already short. So you're just gonna basically blend that inch with the areas that might be shorter. Chin down from the mouth. And she took a nice drive to get here too. <laughs> How long is it drive? Here it took me, it's supposed to take maybe an hour. It took two. So it takes her about two hours to get here. Mm -hmm. And she's faithful on her appointments of making sure she get her trim on time. Yeah. All of that. Even she surprised herself when she's like, take an inch off. She's like, I never thought I'd say that. <laughs> you can tell the difference though. Mm -hmm. It, it like, feels oh different. God. It looks different. It looks mm -hmm. a lot healthier. Exactly. People think that all length is healthy length and it's not. Mm -hmm. Like you can see volume here, and then it got real thin. Mm -hmm. Like no. Mm -mm. And I was watching when you wrap the other customers' um, hair, mm -hmm. and you sit down and around. And I had always somebody did for me one time, and they started at the, at the top, and you said never do that. And well, I just want to make it nice and smooth. Yeah, that's why my like... hair was so flat when I finally took that thing out. It was like plastered to my head. Well, mm. it also depends on how they curled it, too. If they curled mm. it super flat and then wrapped it, it's going to be flatter. Mm -hmm. Whereas, this is why whenever I know I'm going to wrap my client, I give you, I give you a curl. Mm -hmm. Because I know that it's going to go flatter. Yeah. So, I'm going to start you out curlier. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of goddess polish. She's fine in texture, so a little goes a long way. I'm gonna get my paddle brush, and same thing. We're going to brush her hair down like this. And around. Down and around. See, even my kid knows it. Mm -hmm. Down and around. Just quick B7 question. I'm ready to wash my hair and want to use the B7 mask. Do I shampoo and use the mask as my conditioner or use a conditioner rinse and then use the mask? Nope, the mask is going to be your conditioner. So for the B7 question, you're going to use the mask as your conditioner. So you're going to apply the mask, put your processing cap on, sit under your dryer for 15 minutes, 
rinse it out with cool water and go into either your drying or your styling. That is the conditioner. All right, so she's wrapped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and put a pin wherever I see the hair falling or could potentially fall. Okay, so I just go around areas like this that I see it might be kind of coming down. I'll just fix it. Okay, like that. Come around here. Make sure it's nice and smooth. That is the key to a good wrap. It needs to be nice and smooth. So she's nicely wrapped. Fabulous. She's all done. Thank you. You're very welcome. She's done. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Are you going to card or cash, Mama? Card. Oops, look at that sky. Mm -hmm. Yep. I made my next appointment while I was sitting here. Good. Because I was trying to do it before and it wouldn't let me because I already had one booked and I hadn't completed. Oh, got you. So I was like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, if you have a tapper, you'll tap it here. If not, you'll insert it there. What I'm gonna do within this next five minute round. Actually, you know what? I'm not curling this. Yep. It looks like you're just moving something on. Yep, I am. Let me insert it because it's just. Oops, just tap it here. Oh, it might not work. There you go. That's yours. Well, I guess I won't be curling because I'm. Um, Custom. I'm just going to do it like this and call it. Damn. Thank you so very much. It doesn't change, Mama. Hmm? Huh? It doesn't change. What? It doesn't change? Mm -hmm. Oh, it probably turned off. Thank you so much, Miss. All right. Let me grab this bin here. Hold this and get one person with a cabinet. You gotta go get out. Okay. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful card. Anyone? You got a flat iron. No. Oh, are you serious? Yes, ma'am. How can you tell just looking at that? I put a star in the corner of the car. That's how I know. Oh, my God. So you want a flat iron. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. So she picked the flat iron card. So if you text me your address, okay. uh, when you get a chance, just text me your address. She won a flat iron. Let me show them the back of your card. So there are four cards that have this special star on the back right there. And she won a flat iron, which is a H2 Pro black diamond. Ooh one inch iron so now she has a high quality iron oh coming to her gracious. home okay all right thank you thank you you're thank welcome you, thank you please have a safe holiday grab one of the bags or if you want a rug or something from there those are from Sade. so you can choose from planters one of the rugs a towel oh my or one goodness of the bags. oh my gracious okay. actually let me use the restroom first can i use Sade? Tip as well. Yes, ma'am. If you want to just set it right here, I'm going to rinse the rest of it. So just set it right here, right. and then she'll be back at three. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss right. B. And then you grab one, whichever one you like, you just get. That's a towel. It's a whole thing. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah, it's a beach oh, towel. Stop. Okay, I'll take the towel. All right. All right, I'm headed to the restaurant too. I got another hour or so to get home. All right. <laughs> Have a good holiday, okay? Thank you. Enjoy.
All right, you guys. So I'm going to head to the kids' school. I'll be back on live at 3 o'clock. You guys, go ahead. Get your day started. I will see everyone at 3 p.m. Turn on your post notification bells, which is that little bell on my channel. And then you guys will be notified when I'm back on. Peace.